Well, we're gonna have to take a look at why the uh, why the joystick sticking a little bit. <laughs> and there we go. That stopped. Let's take this apart. I noticed that it's it's sticking a little bit. I haven't heard any reports of that. I've heard of uh, of the stick breaking. We're going to take a look at that too. I think there's a there there might be a way to do it. But of course this this stick doesn't break like the uh, like the other ones do. And I haven't had one. I haven't had any of them break so far. It has a lot to do with the way I hold the joystick too. I think. I'm not holding it up by the ball, I'm holding it down towards the base. Up and down is good. It's this switch not pushing it back to center. It's like the switch is sticking. So, let's take this apart. Okay, so I see a problem already. This screw has uh, some thread locker on it, which is great. It should have thread locker on it, but this thread locker, it's kind of thin. It's just, it doesn't look like it's enough. Pull this out. So you got this brass post through the middle, and I'm not sure how far up it goes, but it's nice to have a chunk of metal in there, brass or no. This is essentially just like a computer standoff. But I think we can improve the, uh, we can definitely improve that. Because it looks like we're getting good grip here. That thread locker is definitely doing its job right there. But I, I think this material is thicker than that. Which it should be, that's, that's good. Now, it's possible they just put the thread locker in the wrong place. And there just isn't enough of it to keep hold. Plastic isn't a, isn't much thicker than than this. I isn't it actually it's thinner than than what I've got it here. So they've got the thread locker in the right place. It's a well-engineered piece. Let's go a little further. All right, let's take this daughter board off. undo this ribbon peel it looks like. So yeah, these switches here, they're mechanical switches for the buttons. Of course I'm not having any problems with the buttons, so that's not that's neither here nor there, but the uh, definitely mechanical. These are kind of like keyboard uh, buttons. Should last uh, quite a while though. I'm gonna go ahead and take this other this other board out. This is actually uh, like the original board, like the board in the original joystick. This board is extra for the rest of the buttons. And be careful because these buttons are loose so you don't want to tip it over. It's just a button board. These are ones I pulled from my, my project joystick to, to put switches into it. And so yeah, it's it's they're the same thing. No difference. Which is fine for the uh, for the extra buttons. I never found anything wrong with them, you know, to begin with. This is this is really where you want all your mechanical switches anyway, is inside the uh, 
uh, inside the stick and inside your buttons. So let's go ahead and put that back together. That's good. The switches seem fine. That's a little, that's the strange part. Without the, uh, without the stick in them, they, they seem to have a good return, good response. So, I think I know what the problem is with my sticking uh, joystick. So, when in doubt, lubricate. So, we'll put some lithium grease uh, on the inside of this. Because I think when it's trying to return... There's pressure from the other two switches here. So when we move the joystick this direction or this direction, these two are putting a little bit of pressure on on that post. In fact, let's let's do this. Let's pull this out. do you Shorter ones are the main board screws. The longer ones go into the plastic case. So that's how you can tell them apart. They're almost identical, except for that one minor difference. Okay, I think I'm going to address the, uh, the joystick. Oh, that is interesting. Okay. Um, so I, you're not going to be able to see it on the camera, <laughs> unfortunately. I just put the joystick back in. Um, I can see that the stem of the joystick actually doesn't reach the bottom of the, of the carrier. So we get this put in here. It actually doesn't reach the bottom at all. Yeah, so the post doesn't go all the way to the bottom, which means that even if you have this tightened down all the way, there's only a little tiny bit of, uh, of thread locker that's actually grabbing on. So you actually have something like uh, what, what it seems like is about this much material. So you're only got, you've got only that much of the thread locker actually going into the post. So... If, if the joystick is coming loose, well, it's a no wonder they don't have thread locker all the way down. I'm going to solve it in a little bit different way because I'm not worried about having to take this apart again so much. Um, I am going to use super glue, and instead of applying it to the threads, I'm just going to apply it to the end here. Just a tiny little dab, just on the end. Careful not to get it on my fingers. Now a little bit of that is going to get on the threads, and super glue's got su got a such a bond that it'll act like a thread locker. But you, because it's metal on metal, you should be able to break that again if you don't use too much of it. So I'm going to try that. Um, if you're worried about it, you could put just a tiny little bit on the end of the threads there and it'll do the same thing, but be very careful with it because there is a possibility you won't be able to get that apart again. Yeah, that lubrication really did. That that was that was a good idea. That that worked. The joystick isn't sticking at all anymore. But in the course of our uh, repair, I've got a wire that just broke off. 
the ground wire here. You know, I didn't drop the joystick at all. I mean, you'll see the cuts, but the the cable fell to the floor at one point, and that was it. It knocked uh, knocked uh, one of my little screwdrivers there off. Okay, so here's the skinny. During the course of repairing this joystick, trying to get it to not stick, trying to reinforce the screw, the USB cable, which is soldered onto the board, actually broke. That's the first time I ever had a USB cable break, and it broke just by this falling onto the floor. That's it, that's, that's all it took. Just uh, that much pressure and it snapped one wire. So in the process of repairing that one wire, uh, trying to use a couple of different methods which weren't working real well, the other three wires broke on the USB cable. Yeah, um, I haven't had that happen on any of the other joysticks. A little weird, but um, so this is what I did. Let me show you. It's easier to show you here than it is on the other on the other camera. So this is what I did. All I did was I made this removable. I soldered uh, four pins in there so that I can plug it in and unplug it because if I've got to continue to work on this joystick it would be nice just to simply be able to unplug that uh, cable remove it replace it do whatever and that's that's really all I did and it works great now the the joystick is is lubed up nice and moves freely So it doesn't stick anymore like it did. And this is the direction it was sticking in. As you can see, it's moving freely now. The uh, buttons are still good. They all they all press and everything. And uh, I put super glue on the screw on just the very end of that screw and put it back into the uh, uh, back into the joystick. Hopefully it will stay together but we'll see I, I don't know I'm not a heavy gamer so I'm not expecting this to break uh, you, but it that's a really simple solution and you would be able to get it apart if you had to I would probably if I had some I would probably use more thread locker um, on more of the screw because we found because there is that gap uh, between uh, the, the gap that I discovered in the video uh, where it's not quite reaching the bottom of the uh, uh, of the uh, the carrier which is why the thread locker it's only grabbing maybe a, a millimeter of thread locker and so that's why those the the screws are coming out super easy fix I'll, uh, go with thread locker if you can I went with super glue but that's what I had on hand so and I've used that trick before on, on similar things. But um, but at any rate, that's... So I guess that's our... Uh, I guess we can call that our first couple of modifications on this joystick done. So, as always, thanks for watching.